is a fun and interactive sport that everyone can enjoy regardless of whether the person has a disability or not. In this video, we will discuss ways that shooting a basketball can be modified to better suit people with autism. To begin, we will first show the development of a person without autism shooting a basketball. It is important that your feet are shoulder width apart when preparing for the shot. Next, you want to make sure you bend your knees to get full momentum when shooting. When teaching an athlete to shoot, it is important to keep the focus on maintaining proper form, not on scoring a basket. The person needs to make sure their elbow is at 90 degrees and one hand is on the front of the ball and the other on the side of the ball. The ball should touch your entire hand except for your palm. Make sure you don't let your elbow stick out to the side. It helps to visualize putting your hand into the basket as you follow through. This will help you get complete elbow extension and wrist flexion during the follow through. Now that we have discussed the shooting techniques for a typical population, we will now discuss the modifications that should be made for children with autism. The first modification that needs to be made is to provide individual training for the person with autism. Providing one-on-one -on -one demonstration, encouragement, and training of the task will help reduce any unnecessary stimuli as well as aid the child in being able to focus on the most important aspects of the task. Also, since children with autism enjoy isolated activities, minimizing the number of individuals working with the child would be in the best interest of the athlete. The next modification that will be made is to provide an instructional chart for the child that shows the progression of shooting the basketball. An instructional chart is a step-by-step -step outline of the task they are being asked to complete with only pictures or diagrams in order to decrease any difficulty with auditory processes, increase the simple structure of the task, as well as reduce any unnecessary stimuli to the child. This will hopefully increase the child's ability to concentrate and focus on the most important aspects of the task. The third modification that will be made is to lower the height of the basketball net. Lowering the basketball net may help reduce any hand-eye coordination difficulties the child may experience. In doing so, this will hopefully increase the child's ability to get the basketball into the net and increase their feelings of self-efficacy. Next, provide a smaller and lighter basketball. This would help reduce any ex excessive sensory motor skills. The final mod modification that will be made to assist people with autism in shooting a basketball is enlarging the rim. This may help reduce any hand-eye coordination difficulties the child may experience. Knowing this, individuals with autism will have a much more enjoyable and rewarding experience playing basketball.